as a front-end developer, my role is to write the client-side code that includes the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, in whatever form that may be. Um, this involves uh, knowing the web UI front-end stack very well, but that would include um, knowing what JS framework we are using, what build tools, um, what version control we are using. Also, as a, a front-end developer, we have to work with the business to understand what requirements uh, are needed and uh, from there build the website. Uh, some of the technologies I've used as a web developer includes uh, a lot of uh, JS frameworks such as AngularJS and BackboneJS, um, CSS preprocessors such as LESS or SAS, and as for the build tools that we've used, GruntJS and Jenkins as well. We've also used some collaboration software while working in the team, such as uh, Jira, um, HipChat, uh, Slack. Most of the projects that I've worked on have used the Agile methodology. It has become very common now uh, compared to Waterfall. In this methodology, um, the focus is more on creating working code very rapidly and uh, uh, more on team collaboration and also on empowering the team. I've worked in a variety of teams. Some of them were small, some of them were bigger, but in all of these situations, teamwork was very important. Uh, this is because as a developer, you uh, have to understand what you need to build and to understand that there are other people who will be speaking with uh, um, the business to get those requirements and if it is unclear to you you have back and forth between uh, those guys and yourself to be able to clarify anything that may have been misunderstood. Uh, also being able to work with uh, the designers is very important because they have a vision of what uh, they won't build. And when you build them, it's important to get their feedback. And within uh, the development team itself, it's very important to uh, work as a team. Sometimes the project is very large over technologies and it's important to be able to share that knowledge, to be able to uh, deliver a as good a product as we can. In the Agile methodology, we have a direct access with someone called the product owner. This person's role is really to decide on what needs to be built for the business, so they're kind of like representative of the client. Um, and really they should be involved at all stages from the conception to the uh, delivery. Also, in the Agile methodology, we have something called showcase, and that is something that happens at the end of a sprint where we will just uh, demonstrate to the product owner and any stakeholders what uh, we've built at this stage, and they can give feedback on what they want changed or whether they liked it or not. As a front-end developer, one of the most important skills that uh, I, I have is to be solution focused and to like uh, solving problems. That is uh, the reason that uh, a business or an organization will employ us, is to be able to create this business value and uh, solve whatever issue we're having. And on a technical side, uh, knowing uh, your JavaScript concepts really well is important. Uh, Understanding version control, as I said before, is important, especially branching workflows. And uh, also, of course, soft skills are very important as well. Some of the challenges of working uh, in uh, as a front-end developer uh, is sometimes, uh, um, well, in the Agile methodology, sometimes uh, people have a clear understanding of what it actually means. For example, um, because uh, Agile puts more focus on working code instead of documentation, 
people think that, uh, well, we don't need any documentation and we don't even need to write requirements properly. So there can be a lot of miscommunication and misunderstandings based on that. Uh, also, there can be a lot of unproductive meetings as a result. And uh, things like office politics or uh, stress due to tight deadlines or making many changes uh, rapidly. These kind of things are all challenges. But there are also many uh, good aspects of being a front-end developer. Uh, one of them is being part of a creative process and building something that uh, you can see other people using. Uh, the advice that I would give to uh, young developers would be to read a lot and continue to learn and be interested in uh, the newer technologies because uh, front-end development is a field which changes very rapidly. Just a few years makes a big difference now in this field, but it's also very exciting, so it's very exciting and rewarding, and yeah.